Th thank you, Bob. Th thank you, everyone, for being here. What a wonderful evening last night. You th Bob Lynch, thank you for your leadership in Americans for the Arts. To our chairs, Chair, uh, Acting Chair Carter, Chair Petey, and all our fabulous artists, but really to all of you who are here to advocate for arts. You're here because you care. And sometimes people ask me, why do I care so much about the arts? My mom was a piano teacher and an artist. She did these wild paintings when I was growing up, which I didn't appreciate at the time, but I do now. And I was surrounded by arts and music growing up. And then when my own children were ready to enter school, I said, where are the art teachers? Where are the art classes? Where are the music teachers? Where are the choirs and the bands and the orchestras? Um, and I know what a difference it makes for students to have arts in their curriculum, arts growing up. And so I got myself to Congress and got onto the Education Committee and worked to get rid of No Child Left Behind because too frequently I heard, well, we don't have the arts in music because they're not tested and our test scores are, scores are so important. So that focus on well-rounded education that includes the arts, thank you to Americans for the Arts for helping uh, our efforts there. Uh, also with career and technical education, which a lot of schools are now seeing the value of hands-on learning. We got an amendment into that bill as well to promote uh, a, a STEAM instead of just STEM. And that came about because, thank you, because as someone who serves on both the Education Committee and the Science Committee, everyone is always talking about how important STEM is. And then I get out to the real world, and nobody said we're looking for scientists and people in technology and engineers and mathematicians who are rote learners. They're looking for people who can communicate and be creative and come up with new ideas and new ways to solve problems. And as we know, that comes from educating both halves of the brain. So the STEAM Caucus has been working hard on that. Um, and we are growing in membership and working again with Americans for the Arts. I was going to talk a little bit about how arts are great for the economy, but you've already heard all of that. And I, want, I know you're, you're um, going out to talk to members of Congress, so I'm going to tell a story. From time to time here in Congress, we get together for bipartisan dinners at the Library of Congress. And we listen to speakers, typically authors. And this is senators, representatives, Democrats, Republicans. And recently, Ron Chernow was there to speak about his book about Grant. But he also spent some time talking about his book about Hamilton. And as many of you know, Lin-Manuel Miranda talks about how important arts education was to him growing up. So when you look at all of these things coming together, we had all of these bipartisan group of, of, of senators and Republicans listening to Ron Chernow, who was an English major, and the book he wrote about Hamilton and thinking about what Hamilton has done for a uh, telling story of history, but also to get people listening who might not typically listen to rap music and hip hop music. Uh, the costumes, the dancing, all of it, the, the, the literature coming together. But here's my point. You shouldn't have to be able to afford a ticket to Hamilton to benefit from the arts and the arts education. So as Chair Carter was saying, um, the NEA is working in every congressional district across the country. That's why your message is so important for arts education, for that funding to make sure that every student and every member of this, this beautiful country has access to the arts. So thank you for your advocacy. Get out there and tell your story so that we can continue this and get the funding and you can all do your work and everyone in this country, students, adults across the country can enjoy the arts. Thank you so much.